Thanks, John. Uh, this is Eric Dean, and I'm the business development manager for Parker Lord in the US. And with me today is also Delphine. Delphine, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, thank you, Eric. This is Delphine speaking. So I'm business development manager and technical manager for EMEA. We've been Parker Lord now for two years ago. Great. Today we'll cover who Parker Lord is, as well as our global manufacturing and our expertise in different markets. 2K adhesive chemistries and their benefits, adhesives for battery box bonding, and then we'll wrap up for questions. Parker at a glance, Parker's a big corporation. Parker Lord is a division of Parker. Parker has over 3,000 products, does over $14 billion in revenue annually, customers all over the world, and a total of uh, 56,000 employees. Parker Lord, the division within Parker, uh, has manufacturing and research and development in the US, in Europe, and in Asia. Our headquarters location is in Cary, North Carolina. And we also have manufacturing in Brazil. Our expertise covers many, many different markets, including automotive, but also diversified into the energy market, the electronics market, marine, industrial, aerospace and defense, oil and gas. In all of these markets, we also sell not only thermal management materials and electronic materials, but also adhesives and coatings, which we'll talk about today, in addition to sensing systems, some vibration control systems, and motion and vibration isolation assemblies. Speaking specifically to electrification solutions, Lord is involved in lots of different applications. Today, we will focus narrowly on the battery pack and specifically structural adhesives for the assembly of that battery pack and more specifically on Lord 850 and its value in that application. So at this time, we're gonna launch a poll question and we'd appreciate everyone's feedback on this question. Uh, you should see it in just a couple seconds. So we're looking for information on what kind of adhesives you're currently using for battery box assembly, either one component, two component, or maybe you're not using adhesives today. We'll give you a few seconds to respond. Thank you for that feedback. And we'll move on with the presentation. Now we'll talk about our 2K adhesives and um, I'll hand it over to Delphine to handle those slides. Thank you, Eric. So here uh, we are going to talk mainly about acrylic, but we currently propose three chemistries for our 2K adhesives, epoxy, polyurethane, and acrylic. Most of you are probably more familiar with PU or epoxy, and to recommend best of PU or epoxy, a quick solution can be made according to temperature resistance requirement, for instance, cycle time, elongation outbreak. So however, acrylic, less used than known, will offer most of the time the best compromise with quick cycle time and room temperature cure and quite good elongation outbreak, lower than PU, but better than epoxy. So we have modified our acrylic compared to usual MMA. This modification demonstrates good resistance with most of standard temperature and aging cycles, combined with high crash resistance and exceptional fatigue resistance compared to softer PU or too rigid epoxy chemistries. To a substrate point of view, except lower surface energy thermoplastics, for instance, our acrylic perform on all kinds of substrates, bare or coated metals, thermosets, composites, and allowing hybrid bonding for lightweight in need. And in more than 90% of cases without any surface treatment, just simple IPA cleaning. Acrylic chemistry is by nature exothermic, but as we have modified MMA, we can control this exotherm level and optimize them both open time and curing time as needed. By then, this room temperature curing characteristics represents a significant source of cost saving by removing oven divestments, for instance, in your assembly process. And last but not least, our acrylic meets the most demanding EHS regulations, especially in Europe, and offer a good alternative when no isocyanates is required, for example. So as we have covered the chemistries, we have a second question for you in our poll. So which adhesive chemistry are you currently using for battery box assembly? Is it acrylic, urethane, epoxy, or none of these? We let you some seconds to answer. 
So thank you very much for your feedback. Now we are going to continue with the rest of the presentation. So here are represented two of the most common models of battery pack, quite simplified. So with prismatic and port shell solutions, we know that we have also a third one available, but we will mainly focus on the prismatic model, uh, most popular. So acrylic structure adhesives, we recommend as non-thermally conductive solutions, so pure structured solution, is named Lord A5025 GB or Lord A5225 GB. We are going to cover in a minute what the difference are. So this is the blue adhesives highlighted here. So we have other solutions available, but today we'll cover most of our topics with Lord A50 and Lord A5225 GB. So Lord A5225 GB will fit to all parts of the battery pack when mechanical fixing can be replaced by adhesives, when sealing and crash resistance, glycol resistance is required. So for instance, typically fastening and sealing top of the lid or bonding acrylic plate to the battery pack. So we are developing our formulations according process constraint of our customers. This is why we have already two different open times for this 2K acrylic, Lord 850-25 GB with an open time of six to 10 minutes and Lord 852-25 GB with longer open time of 20 to 25 minutes. So all the listed characteristics are performance are here and also available in our technical data sheet. Their characteristics, despite the open time, remain quite similar between Lord 850 and Lord 852. Most of our customers like using both, in fact, depending size of a battery pack and depending whether they are need prototyping or mass production with shorter cycle time. As I told you, elongation at break is lower than PU, for instance, but higher than epoxy with elongation at break at 100% at 23 degrees Celsius. Most of these data have been developed for either aluminum bonding or hybrid bonding aluminum to steel. 25 GB, what does it mean? 25 GB is the B side, the accelerator and GB stands for glass beads incorporated. Their size is 250 microns to allow better thickness control when adhesive is applied. So how we define open time? It may be obvious to most of you, However, our experience tells it's always beneficial to define with customers what is open time according to their process and how it could be measured, especially when temperature can vary between winter and summer, for instance. So here you will find listed most of common definitions of open time according to our customers. But if you have more, really feel free to send us by mail and share definition or request for further testing. Really, you're welcome. So this graph represents rate of bonding strength development. Bonding strength here is measured by lap shear strength and this lap shear strength increases logically with time. So the blue line represents Lloyd A50 25 GB, much faster in cure compared to Lloyd A52 25 GB, the orange line. Lloyd A50 25 GB reaches 80% of full cure after 30 minutes at 20 degrees Whereas Lord A52 25 GB will need more than an hour, close to 65 minutes at the same temperature level. So again, just to show and demonstrate, we are able to formulate our adhesives according different process needs. Additionally, being able to cure at room temperature brings multiple sources of cost savings, capex savings, I mentioned already oven, energy, of course, space saving, maintenance, and then reduce quality risks as well with shorter and leaner process. Additionally, we are able to demonstrate through extensive fatigue testing cycles, Lord 850 25GB is at least eight times more fatigue resistant than any other standard acrylic adhesive, for instance. This fatigue resistance comes from higher elongation at break, one good reason, but compared to most of other structural adhesives and other acrylic, of course, compared also to stiffer epoxy adhesives. So with a lower day 50, 25 dB, we offer a good balance between crash and fatigue resistance bonding for your design, replacing or strengthening traditional mechanical fixing. So glycol immersion tests, we regularly test as well resistance to glycol cooling fluid um, logically in battery adhesives environment. 
So low at 5025 GB is also one of the most performing formula in our range for this kind of exposure, even with long exposure. We have been able to demonstrate that low at 5025 GB once cured is quite inert to a chemical standpoint and that bonding performances are not affected with time, even at high temperature over 80 degrees or close to 100 uh, degrees C. To illustrate how acrylic can differ from one formulation to other, here is a good example in our range as well. Lord 5206-55 GB has same open time and cures as well at room temperature. However, it is quite different compared to Lord 5025 GB. It is only two to five percent elongation at break when Lord 50 is at 100 percent. It has a Young's modulus at over 3000 MPA when Lord 5025 is around 700 MPA. However, we recommend this formula when requirements for stencil strength is over 22 megapascal, for example, to be closer to epoxy behavior without having drawbacks of an epoxy. So we can still propose room temperature cure with handling strengths below 30 minutes. Last example of how we managed to modify our acrylic, making them thermally conductive. TC 2002 AB is a 2K acrylic with eight minute open time and one watt meter Kelvin. But its rate of bonding strength development to, to blue curve you can see on the right is quite close to lower date 50 you have seen before. Elongation at break is lower, but to a lap shear bonding perspective, it remains a structural adhesive having additional thermal properties. Longer open time formula is available if you have an interest for this kind of product range feel free to contact us. We can work with you for prototyping and further testing needs. So now Eric is going to share with you this very interesting case study we have made with our partner, Castilian. Eric? Thanks, Delphine. So to start, let's do one last poll question. Uh, how often does your team use a material card when considering a new product? And we'll give you a few seconds to answer that question. Okay, thanks. We'll share that feedback and move on with the presentation. So as Delphine mentioned, uh, this partnership and work that we did with Constellium is uh, very exciting and really focuses on the value uh, that uh, a material card can create for your, uh, the designing OEMs that are on the call right now. So a little bit about Constellium first. Uh, they are a global leader in designing and manufacturing aluminum products and solutions. Uh, they do a lot of business in aerospace, automotive, and packaging. They operate in 28 manufacturing sites across the globe, and we've been very fortunate to work very closely with them on this project. So in evaluating Lord 850 for their battery box applications, uh, the first check was just to make sure that it could bond well and survive aging tests. And so here we can see results of two different aging tests that were run with our Lord 850. Um, you can see that the results are quite positive um, for both the allodyne coated aluminum and clean bare aluminum. And basically they both meet customer requirements. So here we'll just cover the two different designs that we tested in, in our trials at Constellium. Um, on the left-hand side was our first attempt with their standard design. And we found that if you increase the bond area with the second design, you got much better performance and the adhesive joint um, survived and performed uh, as needed for the application. We'll see more details in the slides coming up. Okay, so here we have the actual bumper that we created at Castellium. You can see the clamps holding the fixtures together uh, to allow the adhesive to cure on the right-hand side. And you can actually see the squeeze out. That pink adhesive is, is our adhesive um, in that joint. So getting to the meat of the subject, this is what is so fascinating and really great for designers. Here we have the actual tested bumper next to the simulated bumper. Um, you can see in the graph below, which I'll start right now, um, as these two displace in the test, the correlation between the simulated one and the actual test is very tight. And you can see the deformation of the adhesive joint and the aluminum 
all falls um, or all follows very closely between the simulation and the test. And this simulation was created with a material card uh, developed for 850 by Dynamore. And these material cards are available for our adhesives. And we have a couple more slides showing similar tests. So we'll get to those now. So here's another variation of that same test. We have the adhesive bonded joints um, with the crash bumper across the top. This is the simulating backing up into a pole. And you can see that there was some variation there with the screw connections being engaged in the, in the test, but largely the correlation again was very tight. And it basically suggests that you can accurately design with adhesives in your computer software, just like you would with mechanical fasteners or welding. So here we have the summarized results from this. And as you can see for a bumper application, or a pole test, or even a towing test, the bonded base system was good, and the bonded optimized system with the larger surface area was also very good. And so what this basically means is that Lord 850, 25 GB, uh, showed very good performance and would certainly work well for these towing eye concepts, but also more specifically in the design of the battery box uh, applications that we were trying to confirm. You know, obviously material cards are available uh, on demand from Lord, and um, we can create them for uh, new adhesives, uh, but we also have a lot uh, available off the shelf. So summarizing our, our presentation today, the key takeaways here, Parker Lord adhesives really can support and, and improve the cost effectiveness of your design. You know, we, we, we mentioned removing oven curing, we mentioned saving energy costs, um, saving space within your design, reducing the maintenance, reducing quality risks. Um, obviously these Parker Lord adhesive simulation cards can help design the performance of adhesive joints, uh, design reliability in your uh, application, and also just reduce the risk that you'll get to a design where you'll experience issues. You know, and lastly, I'll leave you with Parker Lord is a complete solutions provider. You know, obviously we have this adhesive for battery boxes. Uh, Delphine mentioned a couple other adhesives. We have expertise in um, adhesive technology, thermal management materials that can be used all over the battery box and all over the vehicle. Uh, we're here to help. So again, thank you all very much for joining. I uh, appreciate this opportunity and, and Delphine and I um, are available for questions.